as auxiliary bishop. The Holy Father Pope Francis has appointed Very Reverend Father John Kiplimo Lelei as the auxiliary bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret. The news of Father Kiplimo's appointment was officially published in L'Osservatore Romano in Rome, March 27, 2024, at 12 p.m. Rome time and 2 p.m. Kenyan time. His Excellency Archbishop Bart Van Megen, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, also conveyed the message of the appointment to the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, KCCB, through an official communication. Until his appointment, Father Kiplimo was serving as the chaplain of St. George Chaplain C and Vicar General of the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret, following his appointment by Bishop Dominic Kimengich on 28 August 2023. Bishop-elect John Kiplimo was born in 1958 in Soi, Wasingishu County, the then Rift Valley Province, within the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret. He pursued physiological studies at St. Augustine Seminary Mabanga from 1979 to, 19, to 1981 and theological studies at St. Thomas Aquinas Major Seminary Langata from 1981 to 1985. He was ordained priest in 1985. Following his ordination, he served in various parishes within the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret for 12 years before proceeding to Vienna, Austria in 1997 for further studies. He spent six years in Vienna pursuing his master's and doctoral studies in liturgical theology. Upon returning to Kenya, he was appointed rector of St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary, Langata in Nairobi, in May 2017, position he held for six years. Congratulations to Very Reverend Father John Kiplimo Lelei from Capuchin TV. that right here on Capuchin TV with me Maureen Kimani and of course my co-host Maggie Maina where we bring you conversation with the youth and for the youth and uh, we have different uh, discussion from debates, uh, Bible trivia, talent show, uh, casing and so many more and today we are very glad to have our second episode of Bible trivia and last time by the way it was very fun in case you missed that out please go check uh, that uh, our conversation and Bible trivia topic on our YouTube face and Facebook page that is Capuchin TV and you'll be able to learn more about that and of course in this segment on the Bible trivia we just remind ourselves on how well do we remember and know our Bible and of course again about that at the Evico and moral teachings connection between the Old and New Testament and of course characters are in the Bible and their stories and what can we learn and the symbolism so welcome to our fun moment right here but first allow me to introduce my co-host Maggie hello hello Maureen how do you feel about today uh, Bible trivia that I is our second time so excited mm -hmm. you know I'm of course reminiscing on the moment on the first Bible trivia show that we had last time mm -hmm. and it was so epic yeah and I'm very sure that the guests today will do justice to this particular show yeah. yes so karibuni sana karibuni our viewers mm -hmm. remember this is formally faith whereby we bring our youths mm -hmm. because again this is a show by the youth and for the youth. Mm -hmm. And then again, Maureen, I was just, I came across um, <laughs> one, one particular captivating quote by mm -hmm. St. Jerome, and he says that ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. And that okay. is why we have to know our Bible, we yeah, have to sure. know our liturgy, we mm -hmm. have to know the Catholic faith, because mm -hmm. we also have to defend it, mm -hmm. because uh, then again, sure. we will be defending Christ himself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. And uh, taking about that, thank you very much, Amagi. Uh, last time we had Team Achievers and Team Loving Hearts. Yeah. So I don't know today, uh, what team do we have? Kindly take our viewers uh -huh. through. I'm so excited again, mm -hmm. because today, actually Team Achievers and Team Loving Hearts was from Eastern Deanery. Mm -hmm. Yes, so today we have our youth, our guests mm -hmm. from the mighty Ruaraka <laughs> Deanery. <laughs> so Karibu Nisana, I hope you'll do justice to Ruaraka Deanery, uh, mm -hmm. the fraternity and all that. Mm -hmm. So we will start with uh, with the guest on uh, my far left. You just okay. introduce yourself and you'll give us a name for your for your team. For you, your you're team. a one-man team, a one-man <laughs> army. You'll say, uh -huh. are you team strong, mm -hmm. team Phoenix or whatever. Okay. As you introduce yourself, tell us uh, the name of your parish and if you have any position in the parish. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Peter Chegg from Sacred Heart Babadogo Parish, of course, Laura Cardinari. I'm the vice moderator there. And I'm super excited to be here. Since I'm alone, as you have said, I'll just go by the nickname that I always use. Uh -huh. 
humble african so wow. i just seem humble okay nice yeah thank you karibu yeah. sana humble african thank you. we hope that you will truly represent the african spirit in today's <laughs> <laughs> trivia of course yeah, Give, uh, keeping so. in mind that mm. the the famous saint augustine was african mm-hmm, and we also mm-hmm. have saint josephine bakita who was also yeah. african sure. so i hope you will represent them quite well mm-hmm. <laughs> yes and All then right. next so for me i'm julius moturi nishoke from saint joseph mukasa kahawa west parish rora mm-hmm. kadinari happy to be here mm-hmm. and to to be part of this show mm-hmm. yeah for right. team name uh <laughs> huh, i think i'll remain with the mukasa <laughs> wow <laughs> nice nice and um may, you haven't told us maybe what position you hold oh for position um the parish liturgist mm-hmm. all right yeah. Okay, yeah, it's interesting. Welcome. It's good to have both of you here and Thank we can't you. wait to see what you learned and what you've been learning since you were a small child and what your parents and your you know peers have taught you when it comes to your faith and Bible. So, Maggie. Mm-hmm. Where do we begin? And by the way, in case we have, uh, for those ones, uh, the viewers who would love to be part of this show, in case we ask any question and you'd love to participate, you can send the question and, and uh, of course, your answer. And I will be able to see if you got it right or you failed. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, Maureen. And uh, this particular quiz is very interesting. And that's because we're in the Holy Week. And therefore, our quiz today will be about the Holy Week edition. We'll be asking mm-hmm. questions majorly about the Holy Week, the days, um, that are in, involved in this particular week. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll also uh, be focusing on the events that are taking place in this True. particular week. That is from Sunday to Sunday. Mm-hmm. Or is it from Sunday to Monday? We will get to yeah. know. Very <laughs> true. Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to begin my first question mm-hmm. to Julius. What is the <laughs> Jewish feast which was being celebrated the week Christ was crucified? Passover. Mm. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> As if you had it in your fingertips <laughs> or your mind, you're waiting for this question to come. Maybe okay. he's a little just. Oh. Well. Ah, no wonder. Okay, well. we'll see. Well. Uh, <laughs> the bar has please. been raised so high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next question to Peter. Okay. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, during uh, what is known as his uh, triumphal entry, what animal was he riding on? I am donkey. Wow, okay, interesting. Okay. That's a tie. <laughs> That's a tie so far. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll be awarding and uh, we'll see who's going to emerge uh, the winner. Victorious, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the third question, of course, goes to Julius. Why is the Sunday before resurrection called Palm Sunday? Since this is the time where Jesus has had to go into Jerusalem, where he was supposed to be arrested and to undergo captain it's called the hmm, what's the word <coughs> or oh, trial 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 he was supposed to go into jerusalem where he was to be arrested tried and crucified okay all right and uh, the answer is When Jesus entered into Jerusalem at the beginning of the Passion Week, the people welcomed him as a king and messiah. They covered the road with their garments and palm fronds as a symbol of their worship and acceptance of him as a king. Yeah. So, (laughs) Maggie, what do you say about about the points? Um, We can give him five. Five. Okay. That's okay. (laughs) Good trial. (laughs) Yeah, that was a good trial. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter. Yes. Which disciple? Team humble, team humble. Oh yes, uh, team, humble team humble Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which disciple cut off the ear of the high priest servant in an attempt to protect Jesus from taking from being taken as a prisoner? Wow, ah, nice. He yeah. was, uh, was it coincidental? <laughs> the answer is Peter, and his name is Peter. Must be, must be the reason why. Yeah. But uh, okay, okay. All right, uh, and um, Julius, what was the name of the high priest servant who had his ear cut off? Malchus. I didn't even wow. finish the okay. question. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Like, He's yeah. redeeming himself. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Okay, you but got do it. You say? <laughs> but <laughs> all right. Uh, there you have your ten marks, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Team humble African. Yes. How many times did Peter deny Christ after 
uh, he abandoned the Lord. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very fast answers, Maureen. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. Today, mm -hmm. hey, it's on smart fire. People. We have <laughs> smart people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I think I'm going to jump into question number nine. Mm -hmm. In repentance, Judas returned the money to the priests that he was given as a price of betrayal of the Lord. And then did what? When he went to the high priest, he, give, he threw the money at them and told them that he wouldn't accept the money since he, re he re recognized mm -hmm. that he had committed a, a sin. Mm -hmm. But instead of repenting like Peter, he went and hanged himself. Wow, Correct. that was a nice elaboration <laughs> mm -hmm. there. Yep. Sure, he literally gave that. us the whole chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should join the seminary. Is there anything? Oh, okay. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -huh. Team Humble African. Yes. Still in the same uh, circular um, regarding Judas. The priest took the money that Judas had returned to them and did what with it? Mm. I don't know why I have two answers on my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same or two. Okay, it's such a coincidence, <laughs> we would say. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I'm not sure. I, I'll say they bought a land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me stick with that. They bought a land. Very correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he Very was correct. nervous. He was nervous, yeah. but you had the correct answer. So that's mm -hmm. 10 no, points no, for you. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to explain later what do you do for me. <laughs> apart, of, apart from being a liturgist. Have you ever joined the seminary? No. Uh, <laughs> Do you have like some plans too? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Just okay. grown from childhood uh, in, the, in church. And okay. I make a time yeah. be it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All yes. right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we move to the next uh, question. Mm -hmm. That goes to you, Julius. Who was surprisingly released before Pontius Pilate sentenced uh, Jesus to death? Us. Okay, <laughs> there you have your turn, Mark. Maureen, mm -hmm. I think uh, I Maybe. think it's Barabbas. Ba Barabbas. Yes. Oh, he's not oh, Barabbas. Oh, okay. Barabbas. 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 It's two different it's people. It's the same. Barabbas. Barabbas. Barabbas, the is, Barabbas is somebody who is who was who was what. He was the one who accompanied, accompanied Saul after his conversion to the apostles, <laughs> where he went to explain to them that Saul had changed from Saul to Paul. Welcome back, dear viewers, and uh, we apologize for that uh, technical hitch, but uh, that doesn't, uh, you know, matter. We're going to still continue with our conversation here and our fun moment on the Bible trivia, so welcome back. And uh, Maggie, mm -hmm. we were in a very hot topic and a uh, debate sure. uh, by the question that was asked uh, to Julius. Mm -hmm. Is it Barabbas or Barnabas? Barnabas. But the mm. answer is Barabbas. Yeah. So I think yes. you're going to give him five points. Yes. <laughs> yeah. okay, five. So five but points mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Team Humble African. Yes. What did Pilate's wife counsel him to do concerning Jesus? Sorry? What did Pilate's wife counsel him to do concerning Jesus? Pilate's wife. <laughs> Cancel him to do concerning Jesus. Mm -hmm. ah, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a try. Mm -hmm. Just say something. Can you go one more time? What did Pilate's wife advise him to do concerning Jesus? Like literally, I've never heard about <laughs> Pilate's wife. <laughs> Pilate's wife. That's the first place. That's what I've, I've just said. Pass. Okay. okay. Maybe we can give uh, okay. Julius yeah, a chance. Julius is you to answer that. Mm -hmm. and just come closer. Um, he said he did not know about Pilate's wife, but Pilate's wife advised Pilate mm -hmm. that he should not 
get too much involved with the issue on Jesus that's why he was fighting so hard mm -hmm. to have to release Jesus so the wife advised him not to condemn Jesus okay all right uh, thank you very much Agilius oh. and I uh, just come closer my director is requesting if you can of course be part of the team <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you are a liturgist mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. take a point you observe if we are mm -hmm. on the right oh, please yeah. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. so Maureen mm -hmm. how many points do we give Julius for that answer I think we're gonna give him no zero <laughs> he said pass. Oh, Julius, we can yeah. give him a 10. A 10? Yeah. All right, because he answered it yeah. correctly. And then Peter? <laughs> Peter? <laughs> he said pass on that one, but it's okay. Yeah. It's sour, sour. I think, uh, Maureen, you'll take the next question. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So should we ask uh, Julius again? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I think we Julius. should. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Julius, yes. a, man named, an, a man named Simon was compelled to carry the cross of Jesus. Yes. In Mark 15, we are told the names of Simon's two sons. What were their names? I know the two names. Mm -hmm. It was in the readings of... Okay, actually it was on Sunday. But... Okay, yeah. I know the two mm -hmm. names, but mm -hmm. I'll pass since right now. I wasn't ready for You those don't want to give names. it a trial? Even if I give it a try, love that December Julius like in this movie. The two are the two two names. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm. Peter, pass for you as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so Maggie, please tell us the answer as you pass the other question. Mm -hmm. Sure. According to Mark fifteen, mm -hmm. verse twenty-one, the names of Simon's sons were Alexander. And Rufus, Alexander, Alexander and Rufus. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> the next question to Team mm -hmm. Humble African. Yes. What was the inscription above the cross? Hey, hey, hey. I know. I know it's injury. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to. Wait. Uh huh. Yes, we're Nazarethin. Fall no ayaul. Uh huh. In English. <laughs> the the king of the of the Hebrews, Jesus Christ, the king of the Hebrews. I don't know. Okay. It was correct in in, in Swahili. Yeah. In English, there was one part which is, you know. Uh, maybe you can. You can translate uh, that for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesu Nazaretim Falmewa Wayahudi. Jesus of Nazareth, <laughs> king mm. of the of the Jews. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Very, very correct. There you have it. Mm -hmm. So we give you a ten point for that. Maybe Maureen, we can add on for the sake of our viewers. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay, we sure, can sure. add uh, on to the fact that it was written in three different languages: mm -hmm. in Hebrews, in Latin, and in Jewish as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Julius, yes. are you ready for this one? I'm very ready. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Uh, can you quote four of the seven statements recorded in the Bible that Christ said from the cross? Oh, four. Yep. <laughs> uh, before he died, he said, it's finished. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Mm -hmm. uh, God, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing mm -hmm. and wow this one is a hard one. <laughs> oh, and when he was told by the repentant thief the mm -hmm. one who was crucified on his side he told him that you hmm, will be with me in paradise Perfect. Perfect. And I think yeah. Maggie with that mm -hmm. uh, pointer from uh, Julia's, because of course at least now we are at the same level mm -hmm. together. We're going to take a very short sure. break, but when we come back, we shall continue with our um, quiz and learning about our matters concerning faith and yeah. Bible, the characters, mm -hmm. especially for the Holy Week. Yeah.
Yeah, we're giving you tips in case when you attend the masses, because I know this week they're going to be uh, several masses yes. and so much activity is it going will, on. The, the masses will be very rich. Yeah, yeah. it will be easier for you to remember, oh, baby, Maggie and Maureen talked about this. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> and uh, with that, we're going to take a very short break, but uh, stay tuned because we're coming back with a much and full energy to enlighten you. Stay tuned for that. Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Nya Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. People in Atesega. Modeling. Oral narratives. Spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Not how could you express? At least need to stress. Even if I can smile, it's only for a while. Yesu anakudai, that's why he accepted to die on the cross to remove your die, lemma, and to give you a new die, erection. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeat shows every Wednesday from 7 p.m. again only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. Form new faith. faith with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to enjoy in, in Christ. Christ. Msifu Yesu Kristu, parokia ya kiungwani iliyoanzishwa na wamishonari wa Komboni ipo katika jimbo mpya katoliki la wote. Parokia hii ya kiungwani ilianzishwa mnamo mwaka 1990 na padri aliyeitwa Andriano Bonifanti ambaye ni mpadri wa Komboni. Kufikia sasa parukia yetu ina miaka 34 na katika huu mwaka wana komboni tukifuata nyayo za eh, padri Adriano Bonifanti ambaye alipanda mbegu ya imani katika hii parukia yetu Familia wa Kristu na baba paroko wa kiungwani Padri Boniface Kioko kutoka jimbo la wote. Wanayo furaha si haba kuwa alikeni wote kwenye sherehe za upadirisho wa ndugu zao. Baada ya kuadhimisha Dominika Matawi, tuko kwenye wiki takatifu rasmi. Siku tatu kuu za ukombozi wetu zinaanza na Alhamisi kuu ambapo ni siku mapadri kutoka parokia na vigango mbalimbali mbali, wanajumuika katika misa takatifu ya kubarikiwa mafuta ya Krisma ambayo ongozwa na askofu wa Jimbo pekee. Matukio makuu kwenye ibada ya Alhamisi kuu asubuhi ni Kubarikiwa kwa mafucha mpako ya wagonjwa, mafucha katukumeni, pamoja na kuweko wafu mafucha krisma takatifu. Kwenye misa hiyo pia, mapadri ufanya upia hadi zao za upadri. Katika ibada ya karamu ya bwana, ala misijoni, watu kuminawawili uoshu wa miguu, ishara upendo na unyekevu. 
Kumbuka ni kwenye alamisi kuu Yesu alipoanzisha ikaristi takatifu pamoja na daraja takatifu la upadri. Runinga Captain, tutakita kambi kwenye kanisa kula familia takatifu almarufu Holy Family Basilica ili kukuletea matukio yote ya alamisi kuu pamoja na Ijumaa kuu. Baada ya misa takatifu ya Krisma itaanza saa ya asubuhi ikiongozwa na askofu mkuu Filipa Nyolo wa Jimbo Kula Nairobi. Ini. Ndelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki. Right here on Family Faith at Capuchin TV with me Maureen Kimani and of course my co-host I'm Maggie Maina and uh, today we're very delighted to have two of our guests. There is uh, Peter Chege on my far left who is the vice moderator uh, in Sacred Heart at Babadogo Parish. A shout out by the way to Babadogo people. Uh, to Kisalimia Lydia by the way, PMC. Hello Lydia, I know you're watching this. And then uh, just uh, right next to me, we have Julius Gishuki, who is a liturgist at St. Joseph Mukasa Parish. Welcome back uh, to you all. And of course, welcome back to you guys and Magi. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm loving the energy so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just recalling that during our break, mm -hmm. one of our directors was actually asking uh, <laughs> Mr. Julius yeah. if he's a catechist or <laughs> if he has ever studied theology before. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. And of course, to uh, Mr. Peter, you know, mm -hmm. being uh, the true humble African and representing the uh, African spirit in the house. Yeah. Great job to both of you. Thank yeah. <laughs> So Maureen, mm -hmm. do we go into the next section? Yes, we can. Yes, and the mm -hmm. next section is about the Catholic Bible and the Catholic liturgy. Remember in the first in the first section we were all about the Holy Week and that was mm -hmm. and, and the and basically the content about the Holy Week is captured in every other Bible, right? But then now we want to delve in deeper into the Catholic Bible. How well do you know your Catholic Bible mm -hmm. and how well do you know the Catholic liturgy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maureen. All right. And of course, we begin uh, our first uh, question with our <laughs> liturgist <laughs> that people are calling him yeah. catechist. Uh, you should um, uh, be mindful about that, by the way. Yeah, please think, think twice. It. Yeah. Maybe it's a call. <laughs> yeah. So, Julius, yes. what is the liturgical color for Good Friday? Red. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that's, that's correct. Red. Yes. Yeah, it should be red. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Uh-huh. All okay. right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which color are you, are you thinking? Please tell us. I was a little confused. I thought purple maybe. But mm. yeah, I remember it's red because yeah. it's been one during Good Friday, uh -huh. during Requiem Mass, and during the Pentecost Sunday. Wow, uh -huh. okay. Hey, another cut. Another cut. <laughs> 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 uh <-huh>. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, my Now, game. Peter. Yes. What is the liturgical color for Easter? Mm. <laughs> Easter. Mm. I'm just curious. I'll go with white. <laughs> okay. Uh, correct. Very, very, very correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think you're very good at guessing because every time you guess, he <laughs> <laughs> gets it right. He gets it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maureen. All right, Agilius, how many books do we have in the Catholic Bible? 72. And if not 72, it's 73 since there is first and second Maccabees. I mean, <laughs> what do you have to even say about it? <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, you got it right. It's 73. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Peter, now the work is on you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, so there we have 73 books uh, in the Catholic Bible. Name the extra five books that are found in the Catholic Bible. Um, we have, like you said, first and second Maccabees. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
we have uh, wisdom mm-hmm. we have uh, sirat mm-hmm. uh, we have um, hmm. baruk mm-hmm. baruk yeah uh-huh. yeah i think first and second we will we will count as two <laughs> yes actually yeah. they do <laughs> so yeah first and second makabis mm-hmm. sirat mm-hmm. uh, baruk mm-hmm. Kwanza ni sawa ya mwisho. Mhm. Wait, first and second makabis, sirat, baruk and wisdom. Yeah. Um now, um actually, um we do not have five. But that was a trick question. <laughs> Out. <laughs> we do not we do not have five. Extra five, we have extra seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh but he got most of them correctly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did have Toby. Yes, we have Judith. Mm-hmm. We have uh first Oh, you want to Ecclesiastes. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Continue, yes. continue uh-huh. giving us. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. uh, please uh, hold up your microphone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Toby, t- okay, repeating which ones he has said. Uh-huh. Ecclesiastes, Toby, mm-hmm. wisdom. Sirak first and second Maccabees and Baruch. Mhm. Yeah, I think Maureen they can share given that he had already named yeah. half of them. Yeah. But then just a point to note the book of Sirach is also known as the book of wisdom. Mhm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Mm. Okay, Julius. Yes. <coughs> what is the name of the extra books in the Catholic Bible? The Apocrypha. Mhm. 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 Yeah, sure. We're going to give you his points <laughs> and he's going to lose. Mhm. Uh-huh. Okay, right. I'm just guessing. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know when you say you're guessing, yeah. you get right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Are they call the canonical books. Mm. Oh, mm. but I doubt. No, mm-hmm. no, no, not uh-huh. canonical. Yeah, mm-hmm. But if not canonical, it's deutero canonical. Yeah. Correct. Right. <laughs> so, do you give them five, 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 five Yeah, yes. yes. Gonna give it you was a shared yeah, effort. At least, I, you, <laughs> you gave him a hint. Yeah. <laughs> deutero <laughs> canonical. canonical. Yeah. Meaning of the second canon. Ah, yeah, learning, at least I'm you learning. give him a hint. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> In the New Testament, John writes more than one letter. How many does he write? Three. Correct. I hope you're not guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might be. This one he was very sure about it. Mm-hmm. I'm not guessing. Yeah. I know this one. Mm-hmm. I got it. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And um, Julius, yes. in the Old Testament, there are two books which begin with the letter Z. Who are the others? Uh, repeat the question. In the Old Testament, yes. there are two books which begin with the letter Z. Yes. Who are the others? There is Zephaniah mm-hmm. by Prophet Zephaniah. Mm-hmm. And there is Z. Z, Z. Mm-hmm. Peter, do you have a hint for him? he helped you. <laughs> uh-huh. He got one. Who's this? I think time is up. We have okay. to give you mm-hmm. the answer. Mm-hmm. It's a Zek. Ah. Is that, is yeah. 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 yeah, you do. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You're impressed. After a long sweat one. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. That's correct. Wow. Okay, Peter, who was the prophet? I mean, question 18, Maureen. Mm-hmm. Who was the prophet that foretold that Jesus will be sold for 30 pieces of silver coin? What? <laughs> who was the prophet that foretold that Jesus will be sold for 30 pieces of coin? Mm-hmm. I just, I just guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, I let me think of a prophet. I'll go with the common one. It's mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, that's wrong. Uh, do you want to try, Julius? Mm. Uh, let's see. 
many prophets speak about the birth of Jesus. Uh, I would uh, I'll pass. Okay. Maureen, will you give them the answer? Uh, I mm -hmm. think because you're the person who asked that <laughs> question, please okay. just tell them the answer. <laughs> okay, according because I know they'll be very surprised. Sure, sure. Yeah. According to the book uh, written by the foresaid prophet Zachariah, yes. chapter 11, <laughs> verse 12. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it Jabba? Is it Sorry. Jabba? Sorry. It's in the book of Zachariah. Chapter 11, verse 12, whereby he foretold that Jesus will be sold for 30 pieces of silver coin. Yeah. Okay. I know Good Friday, or mm -hmm. is it Julius? Yeah. Or okay. I know Good Friday is approaching. Mm -hmm. yes. So that is question number 18. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died, there was darkness in the land. How long did it last? Three hours from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mm. Mm. Not 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. It's. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I'll stick with that. Uh, I'll stick with that <laughs> answer from you 3 p.m. It's from 12 to 3. Yeah. 12 to 3. Yeah, 3 hours. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. I was correct for 3 hours, <laughs> yeah. but I was incorrect yeah. on the time. Yeah, so I think we're going to give you half five, half. five. Yeah, each, each. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm going to five, five. Compared to Max <laughs> Kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> Manzini God. Manzini God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Peter, yes. now in the liturgy. Okay. The liturgy of the hours draws mainly from which book? Sorry? The liturgy of the hours draws mainly from which book? The liturgy of the hours. Mm hmm Yes, literally, I've never heard about the liturgy of the hours. <laughs> the liturgy of the hours. Let me apply. Rose mainly from? Which book? Where do we get this, maybe this liturgy from? Or these, let's just call them prayers from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. You'll pass? Okay. Julius, do you want to help? <laughs> This is a trial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exodus. Exodus. Okay. Um, the liturgy of the hours is drawn from the book of Psalms. And basically... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you yeah. did. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Basically, the liturgy of the hours is the daily prayer of the church, which are marked through the hours of, the, of each day. Say there is that morning prayer, which is drawn from the book of Psalms. Oh, there is a lunchtime prayer. There is the after uh, the evening prayer and the night mm -hmm. prayer. So they are all drawn from the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Julius, yes. what is the final line at the end of First Thessalonians? Yes. First Thessalonians. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, first Thessalonians, first Thessalonians. Joke up your mind. What is the final line at the end of the first Thessalonians? First Thessalonians. It's in Paul's letter to Thessalonians. <laughs> pass. That one I uh -huh. pass. Tough one. Mm. Peter, <laughs> do you want to try? <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, you want to get, okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. They say amen. Yeah, it's a statement. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. May the, may the what? <laughs> There's this line, this common line. Mm -hmm. May the love of God and the fellowship of his, no, I'll just pass. <laughs> okay, and uh, let me just give you the answer. The grace of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ uh, be with you. Yeah. 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 You I mean, almost got it. You we're almost there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did a good try. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna give you five. Yes. And sure. <laughs> my oh my. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right. I'm on question number sixteen, Maureen, section B. Mm -hmm. So Peter, yes. according to the book of or the letter of Ephesians, chapter two, verse two, who is the prince of the air? <laughs> Prince of the air. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not passing. I'd rather guess. 
you can repeat the question for him as yeah. uh, he jogs up. According to mind. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, who is the prince of the air? Pass. Okay. Shine, shine mm -hmm. my brother, shine. <laughs> you passed. Mm -hmm. I'm also passing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it is Satan. Yes, mm -hmm. it is wow. Satan. Huh, that was a good one, Maggie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I know this one. Everyone will get it, mm -hmm. but uh, okay. Julius, Jesus appeared to his unknowing disciples after the resurrection. The two disciples were on their way to... My mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't even a PMC kid on that. You know? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Peter. In the very short book of Jude, who is Jude's brother? <laughs> Jude's brother. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. You pass? Okay. Mm -hmm. Julius? Uh, Jude's brother. Uh, Jesus. Mm, good trial. Good trial. Oh. Mm -hmm. I remember it being mentioned in mm -hmm. <laughs> which book? Luke. Luke, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. When Jesus is telling the people mm -hmm. to love their neighbors. Mm -hmm. And he's told that his mother and his brothers, mm -hmm. Jude and I don't, I don't remember if there are other names, but Jude is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, in the book of Jude, it is expressly stated that James, James. is, yes, is Jude's mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm moving on so far. So good. Mm -hmm. uh, this question should go to Julius. Yes, Julius. All right, Julius, yes. one of the Old Testament books has three Ks in the title. Which three? one? K. Three Ks. Yeah, Ks. Yeah, which one is that? <laughs> one of the Old Testament books has three Ks in, in the, the title. In the title. Which one book is that? Habakkuk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but at least it was a tough one. Like yeah. you had to, you know, you had, had to go through. Through. Yeah, yeah, you had to. <laughs> yeah. Haba. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sawa sawa. Um, Peter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There are two books in the Old Testament named after women. Can you find them? The two books named after women in the Old Testament. <laughs> Is there a book by the name Esther? <laughs> are, you asking, are, you asking, are you answering? Okay. Uh -huh. There's this book. Uh, where? I'm not sure if it's Esther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But I'll say Esther. Mm -hmm. And I'll say Zephania. I think that name looks like a lady's name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zephania and Esther. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Maggie. Um, maybe. Oh, you're 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 right about Esther, but yeah. Zephania mm -hmm. was a man. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> Worried? Mm -hmm. Just okay. That's a good trial because I know you're thinking along the lines of Abraham and yeah. yeah. That's uh, mm -hmm. Ruth and Esther. Exactly. How do you yeah. look at Ruth? Oh, <laughs> the book of Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. And uh, by the oh. way, uh, we have um, Maureen from Mango Parish. Mm -hmm. She's following. Hi, Maureen. And then we have um, Lydia from Babadogo. And I say, my Peter, we see you But that's so far so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh huh. Yeah, moving on. Maggie, uh, the New Testament letters are written by Paul are called mm -hmm. There is okay. The, the books written by 
Paul, Paul are called. They are called epistones. Uh-huh. And they are Martin. <laughs> uh, you want to name them? <laughs> I thought you wanted some. to name them. I know. Mm-hmm. Only romance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here uh-huh. you have it. Mm-hmm. Yes, my dear. Okay. Um, episodes, <clears throat> they are maybe in full, they are the Pauline episodes. Yeah. Yeah. The Pauline episodes. Yeah. Sawa Sawa. Um, Peter. <laughs> Hey, this one. Lazima apate ama taanguka. Hey, hii akipata hii walai. Hey, anyway. Um, the name Makabi means what in English? Remember we said that there is there is first and second Maccabees, right? In the Deuterocanonical books. So the name Makabi means what in English? Makabi. Mm-hmm. No idea. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> you don't even want to try. <laughs> it's not a hint, you guess. Not even guess. Pass. Ah. Without opening that Bible and reading, I'm sure. But wait, maybe mm-hmm. I can try to guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thinking in the line what's Maccabee is talking about. Uh huh. So maybe can I say something like uh, like uh, drought or dry bones or something? Maybe I can say drought, drought. something dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something to do with famine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that line. Okay, good trial, mm-hmm. good trial. However, the name Makabi means hammer or the hammer. And the reason is why um, this particular we have this particular meaning. It's because the book of Maccabees is about a man named Judah and his descendants and his generation. However, this particular Judah was very ferocious in battle, and whenever he would go to battle, he was mm-hmm. famous for his hammer. Okay, hence the name Maccabees, which which means the hammer. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of Thor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and again uh, we have Fifi Emosh mm-hmm. following, and then we have Mwelimu um, Elijah Ochenge, blessed from Saint Catherine Academy, Kyoge Kisi. Mark me present, present, <laughs> tick <laughs> with a big tick one, a green one. <laughs> yeah, and so Magi, mm-hmm. uh, because I know our time is up mm-hmm. as uh, we wind up, because I know we have been able to exhaust on the Catholic okay, Bible sure. and liturgy. Mm-hmm. As I try to sum up the marks on our teams are here today, uh, I think you can be able to do your parting shot. As a, I don't know, Peter, what do you think your performance will be? You think you're gonna win, Julius, our liturgist, stroke uh, catechist, <laughs> <laughs> stroke theologian? <Yeah. laughs> uh-huh. uh, off air, I was telling Maggie here, mm-hmm. like Julius mm-hmm. was called. Mm-hmm. Myself, mm. I had to come because <laughs> there's nobody <laughs> else. <laughs> but I appreciate uh, it's been a good challenge. Yeah. Yeah, as much as I'm not sure if uh, I have won, mm-hmm. but if I have won, I'll be very surprised because <laughs> <laughs> a whole catechist. But it has mm-hmm. been a good experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Julius, <laughs> you parting shots? <laughs> Pita. Pita. Mm-hmm. Hey. Okay. To clarify something, I was asked also when we had taken a short break. I mm-hmm. haven't taken any extra catechism classes <laughs> mm-hmm. apart from the ones which I took mm, roughly when I was in okay. class four, class five. Mm-hmm. But as I've grown and the high school I attended, mm-hmm. Jambo High School, mm-hmm. big up to everybody in that school, mm-hmm. is that I always faced the challenge of people wanting to demolarize or lower my Catholic faith mm-hmm. and I was always ready <coughs> to defend it, to defend my faith. Mm. That's why Peter as you guys, Maggie and they are calling me catechist mm-hmm. it's because I've really grown to be attached to Catholic. Wow. And if right now every somebody was to hold a gun to my head, <laughs> I'm sure Catholic Mm-hmm. Milele. Well, um, is a Catholic. <laughs> Always a Catholic. Uh, yeah, yeah. is a Catholic. Mm. Uh, okay. And now, Magi, uh, mm-hmm. our, you know, our results are Mukase, you have uh, 150. 
and then uh, Humble Africa 100. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and, uh, all right. And that uh, brings us to the end of our Bible trivias today. Mm -hmm. And uh, allow me to read one of the funniest comment here. Okay. There is uh, Maureen uh, from Mango. And I say, eh, at least law ni mesalimuyo kwa TV. Lali aki. Hi, once again, uh, Maureen. Uh, use my game. Yeah, I'm also seeing that we have... Um, Brian Odanga, mm -hmm. um, he is the former moderator Western Dinary. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that he is following us, Kabisa Kabisa. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Brian. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing Father Victor, ADN Chaplain wow. Youth. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Father mm -hmm. Victor, for following us. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing Victor Karogia, uh, moderator Thika Dinary. Wow. Asanteni sana kwa kutufuata. <laughs> and all those who have followed us live via YouTube and um, all the other social media spaces, Asanteni sana. Thank you. And let us remember Remember that we are in the Holy Week. Go for, let us go for confessions. Let us go for these masses. And uh, Pope Francis says it best. He says that Holy Week is a privileged time when we are called to draw near to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Friendship with him is shown in times of difficulty. So let us be friends of Christ during, and in particular during this Holy Week. And also, mm -hmm. um, peruse through your Bibles, know your Bible, yeah. because as St. Jerome says, mm -hmm. ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. Exactly. Yes. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Maggie, and to our guest here today, Julius and Pitai. It was nice having you, and our viewers have been able to learn a lot. Hopefully to see you some other time, and may God bless you. Thank you for making time, and to all our viewers who have tuned in to our conversation and to our Form New Faith program every Wednesday. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all. My name is Maureen Kimani. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Nya Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth that this year 2024 with the youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. 